You know, it wasn't until I was in the darkest point of my life that I discovered my true passion and my calling. I lost my kid sister when I was uh, 21. She died on her 18th birthday in a car accident, and um, we were really close. Her and I had a really great relationship, and uh, losing her was the toughest thing I've been through my whole life, without a doubt, far and away. First, there was denial. I just, I couldn't believe she was gone. It, it was so shocking to me. And then there was anger. I was mad. You know, why did, why her? I mean, why did this happen? And, and then there was just numbness, depression. You know, I stayed that way for a long time until one day. I was in a bar in San Francisco, and I just felt overwhelmed and needed a, a breath of fresh air. And I walked outside, and I started running. I ran 30 miles that night, and it forever changed the course of my life. I first ran in the cities. It didn't matter if it was dark, raining, cold, whatever. I loved it. And for the last 20 years, it's all I can do. Yeah, you know, I, I've been into this theory of never stop exploring your potential. So you're right, I did run 50 marathons in all 50 U.S. states in 50 days, which many people thought would be impossible, myself included. And I thought, what, what's next? And this is a photo of running across uh, Death Valley in the middle of summer. So in this photo, it's uh, 127 degrees. It's about 55 degrees uh, centigrade. And it's a 135 mile continuous foot race from the lowest point in the Western Hemisphere which is bad water, to the top of Mount Whitney, which is the highest point in the contiguous US. So the idea is to run from the lowest point to the highest point over 135 miles and, and somehow live. And this crossing took me 28 hours of nonstop running. And why, why are you running on the white line? <laughs> it's a good question. So the temperature on the, on the asphalt and the black is actually 200 degrees, and your shoes will melt. So the white deflects the sun, and it's not quite as hot, so you must stay on the white line to avoid your shoes melting like marshmallows. I suppose, yeah. the, <laughs> extraordinary. Not, not because the police were after you saying, are you drunk? <laughs> Why would you do this? Uh, you know, the next question I get, and I'm sure a lot of runners in here get the same question, you know, why do you do it? And, you know, I can't necessarily say I understand why I do it. I mean, we humans don't always act rationally, do we? Uh, we do things like bungee jump, we, uh, we swim with sharks, we run with bulls. Um, these are not rational acts. They pretty much violate the principles of self-preservation. Uh, but we still do it, right? We're drawn to it, we're captivated, we're enthralled by it. It makes us feel alive. Um, let me share a story with you about the first guy that ever climbed Mount Everest without the use of supplemental oxygen. Uh, his name was Reinhold Meschner, and some of you know Reinhold Meschner. Uh, before he went up there and did it, nobody thought it'd be possible to scale the world's highest peak without the use of supplemental oxygen, that you would, you'd suffocate and you would die before you reached the summit. Well, Reinhold Meschner went up there and he did it anyway. And when he came back down, uh, a reporter interviewed him and said, why did you go up there to die? And he said, I didn't go up there to die. I went up there to live. And what for you is the most enjoyable moment of, of any given challenge? The pain. <laughs> no, I mean, to me, it's the idea of... Are you being serious or are you joking? I, I think that, no, in, in a sense, I think that, you know, we, at least in the U.S., have thought in the absence of pain, in, in the presence of complete comfort, we'd be happy. That was the key to happiness, is comfort. And I think we're so comfortable, we're miserable. So I find, as many of these gentlemen do, that I'm never more alive than when I'm struggling for something and in pain. And I really embrace that. But it's the idea of never stop exploring, of, of being the best me that I can be and constantly setting the bar higher and higher and looking for that next challenge.